So I fell for it again. Yeah, I ended up watching the last Resident Evil, which again, I've never watched. Resident Evil Retribution. Retribution? Yeah, the one after the last one I reviewed. Um, so, it starts off um, at the end of the last film where the Umbrella millions of ships are attacking. <coughs> are attacking uh, the big boat that they're on. Uh, and Alice gets knocked into the water and it cuts. Suddenly it shows Alice, but with long hair, and her husband, who was the guy who turned into Nemesis from the first one. Um, they're like a fam they're a family and they have like a little girl and everything's fine. She goes downstairs, it's all you know, chummy chummy suburban family. Um <clears throat> and then suddenly zombies start bursting through and they get him. And uh, she and her daughter run up and hide in the loft. And um, when they come down, she they they run out and they find ugh, I can't remember the names. They find that girl who was also in the first one. Uh, she's also an avatar uh, as the pilot. I know what I mean. So they see this girl that's that's from the film films previous as well. And she gives them a lift in their car, and then they have a car crash, and then they leave the woman in the car crash. And they get out and they go into this house and she shuts the little girl in the cupboard and she fights off some zombies and then she gets got. Then Alice wakes up, as in the Alice, who we all know is the Alice. So at this point, I'm, I'm really confused. Because <laughs> uh, that's quite easy for me. <clears throat> so all that goes on and, and uh, Alice is being interrogated. And every time she answers, it's sort of like noise. And she's being interrogated by Jill. Like, me, It's really annoying. And then she's like, not on this. Um, and then it shows up, it's like, a, few, like, a little, like, kind of mini montage of how that happens over a long time. Suddenly it's like, computer shut down, all the lights go off, and this panel opens, and it's got, like, a suit in it for Alice to put on, and a door opens. She puts the suit on, she goes through this corridor, and suddenly the corridor has all those laser grids from the first one, and she's running down the corridor, and she just avoids them. And then suddenly she's in Tokyo. Um, oh, what appears to be Tokyo. Um, but it's, it's the same scene from the fourth one, uh, in which, uh, there's this Japanese woman and she rips off this Japanese businessman's face and uh, that's how the virus starts spreading. Uh, and then she does this, then another door opens and she runs through that door and then she does this kind of fight scene with these, uh, zombies with a chain and, and padlock and and their guns and she's doing all these flips and stuff and they're like ridiculously high and I, I, I was like I went to have lost your powers anyway she does all that and then she goes through and she goes through into this like headquarters and all the people are dead and she's in there and she's picking up some guns and is it a Ada what's her last name she's on Resident Evil 4 the game Ada Ada, 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 I can't remember last name. I keep thinking Wong. I don't think it is Wong, no. Ada, whatever her name is. Uh, and they have a little conversation, and it turns out Wesker is alive! No surprise. Um, so Wesker's alive, and Wesker's saying, I helped you get out because we need you. You're in Umbrella's base, which is under the ice in Siberia. Uh, I've got a strike team coming down, and they'll meet you part way. And she was like, but I was in Tokyo, and he's like, no, you were in this area, like, that's meant to look like Tokyo. So, and then there's several areas, like, there's an area that looks like Moscow, there's an area that looks like uh, New York, and that's how they sold the virus. I kind of, I kind of, kind of like that, I kind of like that. <clears throat> so she's like, fine, I'll do your job. <clears throat> so the strike team turns up, uh, it's two guys, there are three guys, I don't know who they are. Apart from one of them's in X Men First Class, I can't remember his name. Uh, there's Leon, who's in as an even for the game, and there's Luther West, who was her like little love interest in the previous one. So they go down and they're fighting their way through. Uh, she goes through suburbia with Ada, and that's where they find the little girl who was locked up in the loft, uh, who still thinks that Alice is her mom because her mom was Alice. 
uh, and you find out why that is. You find out that actually they've been making clones of everyone, of like basic models. Alice is a basic model. Uh, the the other girl, the Avatar girl, uh, is a basic model. Nemesis guy is a basic model. Blah 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 blah. blah. You get my lingo. Um, <clears throat> suddenly they're stopped by Umbrella and Ada does like some big fighting with them. Uh, oh, I missed out a bit. Before they go up to Suburbia, they fight in New York. <clears throat> and they fight two executioners. Um, and then the big guy with the axes. Uh, and yeah, that was it, really. Uh, <laughs> and it's a bit more explaining into what, what the domes are. But I've already told you. Um, meanwhile, the other guys are fighting. And this part annoyed me. They're in Moscow. And suddenly they're fighting, like... Nazi zombies is the best way to put it. They were all dressed in what looked like World War Two get up. Uh, and I was like, really? Why does everyone have this obsession with Nazi zombies? The amount of times I've gone into blockbusters and there's been like tons of stuff for Nazi zombies. It's like Nazi zombies in the snow. Nazi zombies. What? I don't see the big deal. Right. Oh, I mean, Nazis, I get it, all the language, you don't have to do lecture me on what Nazis were, because I know who they were, and what they stood for, and all that, they were bad, I get it, right? Why need Nazi zombies? What? Zombies are bad enough, I don't, I don't care. And also, it's just, it annoyed me, it just annoyed me. <clears throat> so they're all doing that, and then there's like these, a few of the guys who don't know their names, get killed. But you already knew that was going to happen because it's almost like Star Trek red shirt guy. If you don't know their names and they're not a main character, they're going to die first. Unless it's Game of Thrones. Ow. That actually really hurt. <laughs> oh, Walking Dead. That's another one where you anyone's up for getting killed. Bad memories. Um, so yeah. Uh, so they're fighting, and it gets this, this, suddenly they see a liquor, as they're called. And now liquors again in the game are uh, they're about the size of a. They're as tall as a dog, medium sized dog, but they kind of scurry along the floor, and they're horrid. They're really horrid. However, these liquors are like liquors on crack. In fact, they're liquors where the crack has been on crack, and the crack that's been on crack has also been on crack, so it's just like, boom! They're like the size of an elephant, and they're just ridiculous. They're just like huge beasts, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa what happened? So they're going through Moscow, and suddenly uh, uh, Alice turns up in like this big fancy Rolls Royce? Rolls Royce. Uh, and she picks them all up, and she's like, yo, oh, Luther! Uh, and then they go into the subway, uh, but as they crash, it obviously blocks the way out because they were coming from suburbia and they were coming from Moscow. That's why we went to the meeting. Uh, but suburbia's back to the main bit and Moscow's the way out, but they've blocked off the way to suburbia because they crash into this wall and make the tunnel collapse behind them. <clears throat> uh, but they find like a, another route because Alice has these special glasses. It's like, she's like, don't worry, I know where we're going. Knowledge! I, I don't know, I don't know. Really. Apparently that's a map in the most some shit. Um, so yeah, all that's crack a Um, And they go through this, and then finally get back to the lift. Because there's actually there's a bomb that they set, and that's going to go off and make the whole system flood. Uh, and then the little girl gets got. So Alice goes after the little girl who's been taken by a lick, liquor. Um, and then they have like a final standoff, the rest of them. Oh, and they met the girl who was in the car crash, but she breaks her neck like two seconds after, so it doesn't matter. What does breaking your neck is awful? Don't break your neck. But she did. Um, <clears throat> and then, so all that crack a lot. And uh, they're having like a little standoff against Jill and the girl from Avatar clone, who is still on with her umbrella, and uh, some of the dudes. And they all get the shot. And uh, Luther West gets shot badly. Um, but Alice gets the little girl um, and they get on the lift and they get out. 
and they get on the snowmobile, and the snowmobile just drives off. Yay! Yay! But I knew it wasn't the end because there hasn't been a final standoff. It's always a final standoff. And there was. Uh, something like a submarine, nuclear submarine breaks through the ice and out steps Jill and the girl from Avatar. Still can't remember. I think you think of Riviera. Riviera? 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 Riviera. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so they step out and the girl stabs herself with a Las Plagas parasite. Um, and she becomes like she Hulk. Well, not She Hulk. She stays the same size, but she becomes like super strong. Like super girl. But not as flying or laser eyes. Um, so yeah, all that goes ahead. Um so yeah, that happens, and they have like a battle that goes on forever. And the little girl she's been left in the in the truck, which is now on its side as it's flipped over and just no one seems to have noticed the little girl. Uh Alice fights Jill and she's being beaten to a pulp um, and uh, and uh, Luther West and Leon fight Las Blagas girl and they're getting beaten up and then Luther West gets like boom like a palm you know it's almost like the five step punch from uh, Kill Bill apart from he didn't take five steps he just he just dies and so Alice is like no she's really upset uh, then she takes the little thing off Jill, so Jill's like normal now, and Jill's fine. Um, and then um, she fights Las Plagas girl, and, she, and Las Plagas girl's like, uh, oh, oh, it all went off, oh god. It's like, you know, you can't defeat me. And she's like, I know I can't. So she shoots the ice, and there's like all these zombies that are swimming, and uh, they just eat her instead. All the Nazi zombies are swimming. I was like, truly, if all the Nazi zombies are swimming and now you've shot a hole in the ice, they just got to climb out. Why? why don't you close it up somehow? I don't know. Why don't you put the destroyed snowmobile that is obviously not doing very well and like push it like, just over the hole so they can't get out? I guess the world's already fucked, so it, it doesn't really matter what you do. So, <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. They go back uh, to the White House where Wesker's holding out and we're going to be in the White House, aren't we? Um, Musk is like, we need your help, uh, and he stabs her, and she's like, we need the superpowered you. I'm like, well, we all know why they've done that, because obviously the ones where she didn't have superpowers didn't sell as well. Uh, um, and uh, he's like, we're in a war against humanity, um, and he shows her this wall, and it's the worst bit, is basically it shows the White House, and that, and about two blocks being quarantined, and all these like, soldiers in it. And then, like, a mass of zombies and massive liquors, like, climbing the walls and being shot down. And those horrible little flying things from Resident Evil 5, like, attacking planes. And all this shit is going on. I was like, oh, no. No. It was just so bad. Oh, God. Oh. So I was going to give it a score. I'd give it. Four, five out of ten. It was better than the previous one, which was shit. Actually, now I'll drop it down. I want to say just a four. Uh, it's better than the previous one, which was shit. It was just awful. Um, but it was still a shit film. It's like it was a less shit. I'm watching it. I was like, this isn't a shit. But then when I compare it to millions of other films, I'm like, it was shit. But it wasn't as bad as the previous one. So... Four. Bye! I should have read the press button first. Bye!